patch. Did you rip one of my books? <gasps> Come here. Did you rip one of my books? Oh, did you? Did you do this, miss? Did you rip one of my books? Did you rip this? Did you? I'm not playing the ball. You've been naughty. You, I'm not playing ball with you. What? You've been naughty, but I feel bad. Excuse all the Renaults, guys. We've got a lot going on out in this backyard. It's an absolute mess. Good boy. Well, you're not really a good boy, are you? He <laughs> still wants to play the ball. Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday. I thought I'd do a little bit of a daily vlog, show you what it's like running my eBay store here from my little home shed, <laughs> my bookstore, or somebody called it the other day, my little book hut. <laughs> I kind of liked that name. Anyway, today I've got a pretty busy day. Yesterday I went out sourcing and I sourced until about lunchtime and I got a lot of stock and today I have to deal with it basically because <laughs> I've got so much stock now. The problem with my shed at the moment is it is getting very full so when I bring in a large haul of books I can't just sit them around here and leave them I have to actually deal with them as soon as it comes in and I actually think that's better for your business to be honest because if I had lots of space I'd probably just dump it in the corner and get sidetracked doing something else because I don't have a lot of space I have to deal with it or it makes it like uncomfortable when I'm walking around. I do have about 35 orders that I'm waiting to pick and pack normally I would pick those orders put them on my benches here, getting ready for me to pack. But I, oh, I've got no room. So the only thing I can think of is today is my little photo station here. I think what I'll do is I'll just pack away the two pieces of whiteboard and then I'll be left with that bench space. So it's not ideal. That's not what I normally do. But today, to save me having to move all of these books onto the floor, <laughs> some days you just got to do what you do. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I really need to order a new light. This one's a little bit broken and every now and then like, it, just, it just drops like this. But it still works. It's just that the pole doesn't work very well. So I'm reluctant to just go and spend money on something that's still working. Anyway, let me just move this. I'm going to have to pick the orders and some of the orders will be here. So... I actually hate just moving stuff from one place to the other. I haven't photographed these books. I'll leave them. Okay. Put those there. Okay. Voila. Bench space. <laughs> Okay, so I've just sold this Christmas book, Christmas Recipes, The Perfect Christmas. I've just sold this for $21.50. So maybe this person is having a Christmas in July party. They want some Christmas recipes. Otherwise, maybe they're just getting in early. You never know when something's going to sell. Okay, now this book has sold twice lately. And each time I've sold it, it's literally sold within, I'd say, a day. It's called Local is Lovely. It's about Australian farmers. And yeah, very, very fast seller. I'll definitely be keeping my eye out more for that one. I am literally about to kick myself. Seriously, Mel. <laughs> I have just sold a book and I've got like a whole stack of these books. I got them all. They came from a book signing. They're, they're like a cookbook on cake decorating. All of the books are autographed and signed. There's like a big stack of them. I haven't put the shelf number into my SKU because I had like a whole stack of them and they were replenishable. Do you think I can find them on my shelf? <laughs> 
there's a whole stack of them we like my shelves have got fuller and fuller obviously i can't see them they're obviously buried behind somewhere now and it's time consuming now it's a waste of my time because i can't just go to that direct shelf so i really need to make sure now when i find this stack of books because i know they're in here it's not just one book like <laughs> and they're hot pink so it's not like they're hard to see i need to make sure now that when i find this book i make note of the shelf and i go back in there so when i list another one i've got the shelf number on there because this is ridiculous if worse comes to worst this is the book this one i've made into a bundle with a dvd <laughs> if worse comes to worst i'll have to get the book from that bundle but this is just so annoying maybe they're up high come on Okay, I've found them. You're not going to believe where they are. <laughs> okay, so this shelf here that is absolutely jam-packed, these are all my books that are unlisted. Besides from these that I just bought yesterday, these are the only books in my entire shed here that aren't listed. You're not going to believe it. Down the bottom here, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> see the row of hot pink? They're all at the back down there. Look at them all. <laughs> I don't I think I'll take out I think I'll take out a stack of them and put them on a shelf. Look at all these DVDs I need to deal with guys. I hate DVDs. <laughs> oh, what are these? Oh Okay, so here it is all autographed i've sold this book for 18 dollars. now let's put this stack somewhere so they're a little bit easier to reach there let's put them at the back here e5 i need to make a note of e5 now so that i can put e5 into the skew now these books here i literally just listed these last night so they're going to be up top yep here they are rainbow magic bundle of kids books i think i sold these for 29.99 but i don't know i must have listed them too cheap <laughs> they list they sold instantly anyway so anyway a quick sale is a good sale so i've just sold this little bundle of Anne car vintage cookbooks now i actually got these for free they came in the discards that i pick up from one of the charity shops every two weeks and yeah these were part of that that i found and i've just sold those for 35 dollars. okay we got the seven habits of highly effective people now i read this book years and years ago but we're actually just about to read this again in book club in the daily refinement and tech and sports uh, patreon group so i'm actually going to download this one on audiobook and i'm going to re-listen to this in the next couple of weeks these are on my orders there's picked there's a couple of more that are waiting for payment if they come in by the time i finish printing out my labels i'll grab those as well now i need to make a little bit of room here on the shipping bench i guess i'll just move them to the ground like everything else <laughs> I've got a tiny little bit of area to walk around. <laughs> Let's ship. Now, guys, just for the record, when I say ship, I mean S-H-I-P, ship. Because <laughs> the other day on my comment section, somebody said that they'd never heard such a lovely young lady curse <laughs> as much as me. And I think they must have been thinking that I was saying S H I T instead of s-h-i-p <laughs> because i don't curse in my videos <laughs> so i'm sorry if my aussie accent <laughs> makes you think that i'm constantly telling you that i'm going to the bathroom <laughs> printing my labels is my least favorite job of the whole ebay business <laughs> It's just such a monotonous task. And the way that Australia Post does it is we have to import our eBay orders into the Australia Post website. Then we have to go through and we have to make all these little tiny changes to every single label and tick all these things. And it just feels like it's a longer process than it needs to be. I wish I could like brainstorm or something with Australia Post and let them know 
where their problems are because I just feel like there's so much stuff in there that's an unnecessary waste of my time. But anyway, rant over. <laughs> I always open up my books to make sure there's no pencil prices or anything that I need to erase. But look at this. This has got like an old vintage newspaper cut out. So that's pretty cool. So it's in another language from December 1965. So obviously I can't read it. <laughs> I don't know if it's got like an article about this book or I can't read it so I think I'm just going to leave it in the book and interesting okay so the shipping has been put into the car but I don't actually think I'm going to go to the post office for another two hours I'm going to give myself a two hour block here now to start clearing some of these books that are on the bench and in the bags on the floor. I think to speed it up, because I've only got this couple of hours today, I'm going to leave all the books that I need to put into bundles to photograph. Because when I'm photographing bundles of books, it just takes me a little bit longer. I have to set them all out and go through them, and it's just a little bit of a longer process. When I'm photographing single books, it's very, very fast. First thing I need to do is set this thing back up. I did clean this last night when I finished up in the shed. So I don't think it needs a um, spray and wipe or anything. So I've got all the blinds open with the window, so I'm getting as much natural light coming in as possible. This is the only ring light I use for my photos. I don't do any editing on my photos at all. It's just, this is what it is. <laughs> I will say though, it is a little dark in the shed today because it is a little bit overcast and I am going to move this pile of books. I like to have this area of the bench as free as possible while I'm taking the photos just to avoid any unnecessary shadows. All the bundles, I think I'm... Put them over here on the packing bench. That way I know what at individuals. Anything, even like these, these are... Um, these are like folio books. So even these need a little bit of extra time with photographing. So you've got to take them in and out of the slip cases. So I'm going to leave all those. Just want to make today, I want to get through as many books as I can. So the, the more I can get through, the better. Over on this side, I did this last night. I got this ready. I've given these sides a different skew number. And so what I'm going to do, like normally with these shelves, you can see I'm like double stacking them. So with this one, I'm still going to double stack them, but I'm just going to make it so I've got access at each side. And I think that's going to be easier. So these are the shelves that I'm going to fill right now with the books that I photograph. Okay. Oh, there we are looking sexy. Turn around. Okay. Photo settings. Where are we? We want to put it on square mode. I want to put it on vivid mode. My exposure here. Okay, front, back, take a picture of a couple of tasty looking recipes. <laughs> Try and choose the ones that look like the delicious ones. Ooh, see, this one's got like text in it. I need to take a photo of that. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, try and get that. Okay, so now I take a photo of every side of this book. Okay, I'm going to start here. Okay, so what I do now is I just take a photo of V1. That's where, when I'm putting the listing in, then I know where the skew goes. So what I really want to do is photograph some of these bigger books first because they're heavier, so I want them to sit at the bottom of the shelf. I always try and make sure when I'm photographing that I don't actually get my fingers in any of the shots. Okay, so I just had myself in the zone then. <laughs> so I plan to only photograph for 30 minutes of actually photographed for an hour and 10 minutes so I don't know what it was I just kept going like I wasn't I just didn't feel like stopping I was just in the mood to photograph I didn't even have any music on I didn't have a podcast <laughs> I was just hearing complete silence and I wasn't even 
overthinking too much. <laughs> Just must have been in a relaxed mode. I actually find photographing the individual books like that quite relaxing. It's when I do the bundles and I'm going to lay them all out. It's a little bit more labor intensive I guess <laughs> when I'm just doing the single books and it's all just the same motion front back inside side <laughs> side side you know it's it's quite kind of relaxing <laughs> okay so the shelf here still has a lot of books on it some of them do need bundling up and some of them needed a clean so I just left those ones but as you can see these are all the books that I just photographed. So the top shelf is absolutely full and I've started down here on the second shelf. So all those books are now waiting for me to list. Okay, so the time is quarter to three and I'm starting to get that feeling of that afternoon fatigue starting to hit in. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little break here in the shed. I'm going to drive over go and drop all my parcels off at the post office. And then I think I'm going to go for a drive. I'm going to go through the Macca's drive through get myself a nice cup of coffee to ping me back up. <laughs> I need I, I need that ping. Um, I'm going to get the nice cup of coffee. Then I'm going to come home with my cup of coffee <laughs> and I'm going to sit down and list. It takes me, guys, one hour to list 30 items once I've done all these photos and everything. If you want to know how I do that, I do have a video which is live streaming me listing 30, 30 items in an hour. If you want to sit there for an hour and watch me list in semi-ASMR style because I don't really talk much in it, I'll link it here, here. <laughs> But anyway, I think I'll finish this vlog off now. You know how the rest of my day is going shipping, coffee, ping, listing. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to have a pretty early afternoon then, finish up for the Friday. We might get some Friday takeaway for dinner, maybe a hot pizza or mm, maybe some Chinese. Chinese is my favorite. Honey chicken, honey chicken. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next couple of days for another day in the life with Mel. Bye.